Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Joplin Server on Dockage. So this makes it to where you can sync your notes from your Joplin application to the server, and uh, you can have it all local. So a little bit about this series, I'm going over home lab, turn on things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. This is what will be installed today, Joplin ser server. This is in beta, but it's been working good for me. So um, Joplin is an excellent open source note-taking application with plenty of features. You can take notes, make to-do lists, sync your notes across devices. So um, this is what it looks like. And you create your notes, your to-do list, and um, you can sync it. So um, instead of syncing on the cloud, you'll be syncing on your local server, the Joplin server that's running on dockage. So uh, we're going to get to installing it. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link on the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to the search right here. I'm going to type Joplin in. And then how to install Joplin on dockage. I'm going to go into it. Go to the Docker and Pose. So version three of Docker Plus file formats being used. I'm gonna set some services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear jo uh, Joplin. This is the service name. The con container name is gonna be called Big Bear Joplin. This makes it so the Docker doesn't have to generate a random name, and, and you can I uh, easily see it in uh, Docker PS. So, okay, now the image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no URL before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then environment variables. So the app port, the app base rail, and you would replace the local host right here with your dockage IP address. And then uh, the DB client, the Postgres uh, a username, pa password, the database, the port, and the host. So uh, the max uh, time drift, and then now ports are 22, 300. So that's on the host. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then 22, uh, 300 is on the uh, the container side. And then the networks are Big Bear Droplin a network. This is so the database up here can use the uh, the name the Big Bear Droplin DB. So now uh, uh, this service right here depends on the Big Bear Joplin uh, a DB a service down here. So this service right here is going to store data in the Postgres uh, database down here, and it's connecting to the database with these credentials. And then uh, the, the configuration for the Big Bear Joplin uh, DB service. So the container name is going to be called Big Bear jo Joplin uh, DB. And this is so the container has a good name and not a random name. And then the image is coming off the Docker by default. And then Postgres is the Docker image. The Docker image tag is 14.2. Vo volumes. So the, the, po uh, the Postgres QL data right here is a local volume that's defined down the bottom. And this is on the host side. And then on the container side is var lib Postgres QL data. Do not change the cont container side. And also with the ports right, right here, do not change the container side on the ports. So now restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then environment variables. So the Postgres password is a random uh, UUID. Um, and then the Postgres user is Big Bear. The Postgres DB is Joplin. If you do change these credentials, you will need to update these credentials up here as well. Um, so uh, the network, so Big Bear Joplin network, we're going to put it in the uh, the network that, that that's defined right here. It's a bridge network. So uh, the volume is defined down here, the Postgres QL data. 
So now I'm gonna go up here to copy raw file. I'm gonna click it. Then I'm gonna go over to my dockage and get this setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're gonna start on our dockage. I'm gonna go up here to compose. Stack name is gonna be um, Joplin Stack. And then now I'm gonna go over to the editor over here. I'm gonna paste in the Docker Compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. Now once you do that, you're gonna press deploy up here. And it's going to download the Docker image, get it extracted, get it up with Docker Compose underneath, and it uses the Docker engine. Um, so, and also it's going to create the network, the volumes. So um, now you can see it's up and running. So now we're going to start on our dockage, go, go to the stack, and then we're going to click the port right here. So you're going to get invalid origin. So I'm going to copy this IP and port right here. And now I'm going to go backwards to dockage. I'm going to go to the edit button up here. So click it. Then I'm going to go to app base URL right here. I'm going to paste the, uh, the IP and port that we copied. And then now that should be good. So now I'm going to deploy the changes and it's going to have to recreate the containers. So I will wait until it shows up. So now it should be uh, showing the login. So now we see the login and it's working. So now I'm going to go over the dockage UI. So on the home screen, you'll see active, exited, and inactive stacks. And this is the status for the stacks over here. So I'm going to go into the stack. So, so you'll see actions up here. You can go in and edit. And you can add a service underneath the services and then add container. And now you can see it's over here and it's down here underneath the services right here. So um, if, if you want to, uh, to edit this, uh, this one, you can just go in here and you can add an image to it. And um, you can see that it added the image right here. So it's syncing uh, from the editor and the UI. So I'm going to just delete this one. So you can add a URL, you can add environment variables, you can set and networks, internal and external. You can come up here to action, so you can deploy your changes, save the changes, stop an inactive, and then discard your changes. So I'm going to discard. And you can restart the stack. You can update the stack. Uh, you can stop. You can stop an inactive, and then you can delete. Uh, uh, you can see the containers in the stack right here. And if you see the port, you can click on it to go to the UI. Um, you can go into the containers like this or bash. And that, now we're in the container and you can switch to SH. And you can go back to the stack. You can do the same thing with the Postgres. So now we're in there. And um, you can see a logs down here. This is great for debugging. And you can see a read-only version of the Docker and Pose over here. And if you want to edit it, you, you just go up there and click the edit button. So that's a little bit about the dockage UI. So now we're going to go to the UI. So we're going to be on our stack. And we're going to go to the port right here. So now the default email is admin at localhost. And then the password is admin. So now it does recommend you change in the admin password because it's insecure. You can change it right here. So you can go to it and you can put your password and repeat password and then update profile. You can also change the email and your full name. So you can go to home. Now uh, you will need to download the Joplin apps, uh, either uh, Windows, Mac, uh, I believe. And you can go in there and look. So it's Windows, Mac OS, and then Linux, a Google Play and App Store. Um, you can, uh, you can go, go up to the settings and then synchronization and then click, uh, the drop down for Joplin server and then put the, uh, the IP and port in, and then you'll need to use your username and password that you logged into this admin panel for. And now once that happens, you, you just synchronize all your notes to this server right here. You can see your synchronized items right here. 
and you can go to the admin and uh, you can go, go to the users and you can create another user. You can see uh, the user deletions and then the task and then the emails. Um, and you can also remove the selected jobs right here. You can go up here to your profile again and get to that screen of cha changing the email and password. Um, so that's a little bit about the Joplin server ZUI. So I just went over step-by-step -step on getting Joplin server running on dockage. I went over the Docker and pose. I went over the UI, everything like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.